Hey, weirdos. Well, uh, I got another update here for you on the horror film set, the thriller horror. I'm not exactly sure how to categorize it yet. Definitely horror aspects, but some thriller aspects as well. Got a little mystery in there. It's called The Compound. At least that's the working title right now. Written and directed by John Wesley Norton. A great guy, extremely talented. I'm really happy to be able to work with him again and just be a part of this. It's it's a lot of fun. But we get the day off today. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of this time. Yeah, they might they might call between now and tonight, but I don't think so, because most of them have another event that they're going to tonight, another film premiere, actually, that they had all been a part of. But I'm going to stay in the hotel because I've got some voiceover stuff to do for all of my clients. Uh, but some of you have been asking about scene 43 because I had made a big deal about that when I first started giving these updates. We did that the first day, I think, either the first or second day we did scene 43. But uh, John decided he didn't want to use that. He wanted a, a different setup. The, the, the acting was fine. He said it was the lighting that he really wasn't pleased with. And so he wanted to reshoot it and get better lighting. I think it was a great that was a great um, decision, too, because I saw what we were doing last night on some of the replays. And yeah, it really does look really nice. So we did scene 43 last night and scene 31, both very long scenes, both with lots of characters together. We all had to know our lines and be able to almost jump on top of each other to make it sound uh, like the panic that we were supposed to be in. The fundraiser, I just checked on it. I haven't had a chance to really look at it the last few days because I've been so busy. You guys are amazing. We're at $2,444. That's a little under halfway to our goal. And I know we don't have much time left in this month. We only have a week left. But with me being gone so many days and not being able to give updates and thank people personally, that's actually pretty impressive to me. I really am thankful for everybody who has given to our fundraiser. If you want to give, if you want to learn more about what we're doing with our Overcoming the Darkness fundraiser, I'm not going to use this video as an opportunity to, to pitch that, but it's just our annual fundraiser to help organizations that help people who suffer with depression. But you can find out more about it by going to WeirdDarkness.com slash overcoming. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash overcoming. There's also a link to it on the on the Hope in the Darkness page. Hey, I do have an announcement today in preparation for the upcoming election. You know, we've been talking about how we want to vote for Bigfoot and Mothman. Well, those shirts or mugs or tote bags or whatever you're buying, they, they are kind of useless after the election, right? Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to vote for Bigfoot and Mothman. But it's the year 25, and the shirt says 2024. So, well, I have fixed that. I just added a new T-shirt that says, don't blame me. I voted for Bigfoot and Mothman in 2024. So that way, no matter which candidate wins, you can still say, hey, hey, hey don't blame me. I had nothing to do with it. I voted for these other guys. So you guys have really taken to those shirts. So I thought I'd make one more just so for something after the election, you could just continue on. Also, some of you have been asking about Magic Mind and how it has affected me over the last few days, because as I mentioned before, I was kind of doing an experiment with it to see if I took it later in the day, would it help me with me memorizing my lines, recalling my lines when I'm on the set? Would it keep me a bit more calm? You know, all that kind of stuff. And they, again, the, the people over at Magic Mind don't claim that it's going to help you with memory. So um, this isn't something that they suggested that I talk to you about. It was just an experiment that I wanted to try. And I truly do believe that it helped. Uh, especially, like I just mentioned, those scenes, 43 and 31, they are huge scenes. And especially for me, I have a lot of dialogue in those two scenes. And a lot of it is techno babble because I'm a scientist and I have to kind of talk about some scientific terms and stuff. 
That's not something that would normally be easy for me to remember, but taking the magic mind at, we, we started our filming usually each evening. The call time was four or 5 p.m. each day, but we really didn't get into filming until about seven. It just took a while for everything to get set up and we'd go over our lines. So, but I would take my magic mind probably right around five. Like as soon as we, as soon as I arrived, I would take a magic mind and then also a five hour energy because I know I'm going to be up really, really late. And those two combined, I think really did help me with the memorization. I didn't have any issues at all in filming. I stumbled a couple of times, but it wasn't because I didn't know my line. It was just because my tongue wanted to move faster than, than my mouth, which is something that I've always had a problem with ever since I got into radio. You'll hear you'll hear recordings of me from way, way back. And I'll be it's almost like I'm stuttering just because my mind is going so fast and my mouth can't keep up. And so you'll catch me well, like, st st you know, st stuttering you know, like that. Uh, but anyway, I had the lines memorized, which was really, really great. Uh, we do have a few more scenes that we got to take care of. Like I said, we got today off, but we are going to be coming back Friday, Saturday and Sunday, depending on which scenes they choose, which actors will have to arrive. We don't know that schedule yet, so I just have to keep everything kind of blocked out for them. So there's really no point in me packing everything up in the hotel, going home for a day and then coming right back and unpacking everything in a new hotel room. So I'm just staying in the hotel for a couple of days where we're not filming or probably not filming. I don't know, well, they, they might call tomorrow and say, hey, we really would like to film, can you get down here? And I'll be here and available for them. But Robin did come up uh, today to DeKalb and she brought me some more supplies. We went out to lunch and got some hugs in because we survive on our hugs. That's what we do. Uh, so we're actually doing pretty well. Anyway, that's the that's the update. You won't I won't be giving you a lot of uh, photo updates today because I won't be taking any photos. I won't be on set doing it. So don't think that everything's over because it's not. It's just that we're taking a day off. And so I won't have much to report. We have been talking about how long it will take once filming is done to get this up on a streaming service like maybe Tubi or Amazon Prime. Usually it takes about a year. That's for, for John and everything that he does, because he doesn't just work on one project at a time and then get all the editing done and then make sure it gets submitted everywhere. And once it gets hits a streaming service, then he starts recording another one. It doesn't work that way for him. He as soon as we're done recording, let's let's say we finish everything this weekend, then the, the very next weekend, he'll probably be on another project and he'll just be in between those weekends and days editing other projects that he's already recorded. So it takes a little while for everything to get edited and finalized. But he said, yeah, it'd probably be about a year. So I will definitely keep everybody updated as to the progress. Uh, I am an executive producer on it now, so um, he'll he'll be uh, communicating with me a bit more. And there's a possibility that I'll be helping with some of the sound on this now. We were talking last night about the all the noise of the cars and the trains going by. DeKalb has trains coming and going nonstop. It was really hard to get some quiet moments to film. And we just know there are going to be some takes that were really good, but that train or maybe a semi truck in the background going by kind of ruins it. But still, that's the scene he would like to use. So there are some noise reduction things that can be done possibly. And I have some of those tools on my laptop. So I might actually become a sound editor on this as well. I'm hoping not because I just don't feel comfortable stepping into that role. I don't know enough about that kind of sound editing that uh, I would be comfortable doing it. But I told him that I'd be happy to experiment with it if he just sends me like one or two scenes uh, to see what it uh, to see how it goes. But anyway, we'll we'll find out when you look at the IMDB page, once it finally gets up later on, you'll know what kind of credits I'm getting. So anyway, hope you guys have a great day and a, a wonderful uh, Wednesday evening and a wonderful Thursday. And I'll probably see you again 
with another update from the film on Friday.